And we have this by Lars Hoffmann, startup from Munich this time. Lars presents PhosphorX, a company which uh, develops and sells fiber optical measurement technology. It's yours. Yes, thank you, Ingo. Hello, I'm Lars, I'm founder and CFO of PhosphorX. Um, we're not part of the accelerator program, but we've received the SME voucher of Climate Kick, which is another great offer. Thank you, Franka. Um, before I go into fiber optic sensors and the problem we solve with this technology, I'd like to give you a few facts about Phosphorex. We started as a spin-off of the Technische Universität München in 2011 with our technology, fiber optic sensing. And Phosphorex stands for fiber optic sensors for anything. Well, that is um, not really a focus. In the, in the aftermath of the, of the foundation, we focused really on wind turbine optimization and on measurement for rotor blades of wind turbines. Um, we have 15 employees today, and our revenue target for this year is 1 million. We started off with the integration of our measurement systems into turbines, into new turbine generations of OEMs, of wind turbine manufacturers in 2011, and now finished the first integ integration and uh, the series production is going to start. So what is the, the underlying problem in, in the wind energy? Um, modern monitoring and control strategies, schemes, can really help to bring cost of energy down. Uh, one of the examples, our main customer value at the moment is to reduce, to actively reduce the extreme loads on the rotor blades, on the drivetrain, on the tower and on the foundation of these, uh, of these um, turbines. And this is by d done by adjusting the pitch of it, each blade individually and to yaw the whole turbine in order to get the extreme loads do down. Because each turbine is designed to endure Ex these extreme loads over 20 years of lifetime. And you can guess it's very robust for that, robust for that, uh, for, for that purpose and very expensive. To reduce the, the, um, the loads is feasible. We've shown that with three of our customers. They all reduced their, um, their loads, their extreme loads by 20 to 30 percent. And this really translates into a possible potential um, material cost reduction of, of the same magnitude. Um, so, but what is the technical problem? Um, in order to do these uh, control schemes, you have to know the blade loads very exactly and very reliably and with a high availability over 20 years. And this cannot be done by conventional sensors due to lightning strikes and to, due to high uh, amounts of load cycles such as rotor blade sees over the lifetime. Our technology, fiber optic sensors, can do that. They can endure ten, a, a thousand times more load cycles and they're intrinsically immune to lightning strikes. And this is why we started the integration into the turbines with OEMs, uh, namely with Sanvion, uh, with others I'd, I'm not supposed to name at the moment, um, in order to bring down the, the, the costs. The immediate case is not material savings at the moment, um, it, because it's, it takes a generation of, de of, de of turbine development. The immediate case is really to bring an existing turbine design into locations with higher turbulences and higher wind speeds. And this is what, why it's interesting for the turbine manufacturers to integrate it from the beginning into their, into their new designs. So what did we do? We started with the technology, basic technology, fiber optic sensors, and then developed measurement systems, which we distribute over uh, our distribution channel, IMC test and measurement, and also make sensors, especially for wind energy applications. And on top of that, during this integration phase, we um, started to make accessories and also to offer services, so we, can, so we are really vertically integrated in, in that uh, value chain. And on top of that, we're not just hardware maker at the moment anymore. We started to make software to make more out of the data. 
So uh, we're going to release our first software module, which is ice detection, in ne next, next month. So here are a couple of our customers. Um, I think these are the most innovative wind energy companies and a couple of companies in the transportation area, which is a second field, field of interest which, that, we are, that we've been developing currently. Um, at the moment, we are well funded, but we see there is a lot of potential for growth and for growth funding next year. So we just started with this process uh, to detail out our, our growth plans, and I'm happy to talk to you um, about, this, uh, about these plans in the future. Thank you, Lars. <coughs> well, your, your customer list looks quite impressive. Uh, where exactly do you stand in terms of uh, market deployment of the products? So you're now, uh, everything goes through the roof? Um, I, it seems <laughs> so. Um, the, the, the positive news kept on pouring in in the last couple of weeks. Um, the, the positive testings with, with, our, with, our, uh, with our customers of these load reduction schemes. Uh, the, the integration is ready, the certification of the product is ready, so it, it's, it's going to start. We're in the area of 25 systems this year, but we'll probably okay. triple or quadruple this next year. That's good. Um, but your technology looks like a platform technology. Yes. Uh, at least in, on the basic uh, hardware uh, level, and you presented us that you add a lot of services on top, software and services on top. Um, you just touched that there is also uh, activity in other areas than wind. Could you elaborate a bit on that? It's a very interesting field we just started lately. is um, axle measurement in railway applications. So you measure uh, the load, the, the, the speed of axles, the, 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 the amount of max axles that, that crosses a railway. And you can, we, with our technology, um, we're able to measure the load of the trains and the roundness of the wheels also in order to, to allow pricing of the infrastructure, which is a very interesting application, I think, and can make use of, of data analysis, which we're really good in. Okay, I think you need to add some more people to the organization. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think this is going to happen. Okay. Thank you, Lars. Thank you to all presenters. Thank you.